No, this is not an amusement park ride. This is actually a vibration table, and that is an air conditioning unit. Did you know that manufacturers spend millions of dollars testing their equipment? Well, today we're at Linux Industries in Carrollton, Texas, and we're going to show you some of the extreme tests that manufacturers put their products through so that you get products that are built to last. Let me show you how. If you think this is rough, take a look at some of the other abuses they have in store. You may be wondering what technicians at Linux Industries are trying to accomplish with these tests. Actually, it's quite simple. This is a random test to try to recreate the type of abuse any packaged heating and air conditioning unit might endure during shipping. The vibration table simulates a rough ride down a bumpy road in an 18-wheeler. And you never know when that 18-wheeler might need to slam on the brakes. Or when some warehouse worker might lose his grip. Lennox operations manager Mark Rakowski says after the test, technicians will give each unit a thorough inspection. So Mark, what do you hope to learn after you've accomplished this battery of tests? Well, what we do then is uh, Terry, our technician, uh, takes the unit apart, inspects every component, sheet metal components, purchase components, everything, for any type of damage that really would affect the performance of this unit. What you're looking for is anything that would uh, prevent the unit to operate once it gets to your house. Again, what we're doing is trying to prevent any type of damage that you might see during normal shipping. Well, sounds like a great idea. So how long does it take to actually uh, go through a whole battery of tests and complete all this? Typically, the technician will have a, a unit done in uh, one to three days, depending on the complexity of the unit and uh, any type of problems we see. If any damage is found, technicians will determine what types of improvements need to be made to the packaging in order to make it more durable. There are also tests to make sure a heating and air conditioning unit will continue operating under extreme changes in the weather. Here, they're testing several circuit boards under sub-zero conditions. And so what do you hope to learn by uh, putting it through these extreme tests? Well, our testing, what it does is it takes this control down to minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's below zero. That's below zero. And then we actually take it above the boiling point of water up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. We're actually seeing how the components of the control will actually function at those type of extreme temperatures. We also take it to uh, up to 40 Gs, which is actually 40 times the force of gravity. And in a roller coaster, you actually see only like one or two Gs perhaps in a real tight turn. So basically, you put these products to their paces so that I know that when I buy a product and I run my lawnmower past it five or six times or on a hot summer day, we know this thing's still going to work. You're never going to see the extremes that we put this control to here. So hopefully, when you have it in your house, this control is going to function in every conceivable condition that you put this thing through. Technicians at this lab are also constantly working to develop more efficient heating and air conditioning units. Computerized graphics have cut the time it takes to get a newly designed unit from the drawing board to the homeowner. A process that used to take a full year now takes less than nine months. As research and development continues at this lab, the goal is to develop better ways to heat and cool your new house, along with more efficient ways to ship those products to us.